Hi there. I'd love to know before the video starts if you're subscribed. It helps me out a lot, and you get to see whenever I upload. Otherwise, you could always check me out over on Twitter or in my Discord. And if you want to go the extra step further, you could join my Patreon or join here on YouTube to see videos early if that's more your thing. It all means a lot to me personally, so I hope you enjoy the video and have a great rest of your day. Boo. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, well, I saw you all cuddled up on the couch, and I figured I might as well join you. I know you were sleeping, but I figured why not. <laughs> I know you just went down less than ten minutes ago. Maybe some cuddles would help you fall asleep better. Maybe something else, too. Hmm. Well, to be honest, I kind of just wanted to lay down with you and fall asleep with you. A little too energetic right now, but I think I have something that just might help. Oh, let me grab it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. Mm. Normally, I fully encourage use of my tail smoke to help you fall asleep, and we will definitely use that, but <laughs> I figured using, using a bit more of a tried and true method, pretty much everyone in the state's been using since. 20. Mm, I don't know when it was legalized. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be fine. Come on. You're telling me you've never had any of this stuff? Yeah, I could tell you were bluffing. Now come here. Come here. Come here. Perfect. Perfect. You even have a nice comfy flannel pad and blanket. This, this throw is lovely. Yes. I like, quite like it. <laughs> yes, I am aware. The whole area does smell a bit skunkier now, but... I'm sure we both live. Ah, <laughs> uh, there is a joke to be made here. Plus, have you seen any of the actual skunks around here? Either they are all constantly being very gross to each other, or they're pretty much all stoners. <laughs> Though it could be an unhealthy dose of both. I'd be more concerned about their home life if they're using their own uh, biological matter against each other. But hey, to each their own. Plus, I think both you and me have had worse gases in our face. <laughs> Dealing with that damned dragon. She, she's. She smoked your face before, right? Come on, I can't be the only one she's <sighs> huffed her poison gas onto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know some memories all been on left repressed, but it's not like she ever hurt you. Yeah, come on. Yeah, 
Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. <sighs> yeah. You're perfect. Maybe I should just wrap my tails around you now. Might get a bit muffly, but... Sure, we'll be able to hear each other with my tails wrapped around both of us. Around your head and my back, mainly, I guess. <laughs> Does this smoke more up your alley? The smoke emitting from the rings on my tails. <laughs> yes, it's quite perfect, isn't it? You know, I do use this voice quite a lot. This nice, soft voice, but I think I can go even quieter and softer for you. It's quite nice and should be fairly easy to fall asleep to, shouldn't it? Yes, come surprised about the fact that that works on me though. I mean, I bought the dang thing for a reason. I mean, <laughs> listen, it isn't even the worst yellow juice I've ever had to inhale. Again, congratulations to Fyrin for holding that record for me. Nasty, nasty woman. <sighs> She's somewhat becoming kinder. If her treatment of you in the past has given me any kind of hint towards her current stature on things, I know back in the old days she would have just absolutely blown your head off with her smoke. You would have been nothing but a comical single. if I'm lying, but besides the part that would be comical now, she would have, she would have completely melted your head off its uh, rightful place <laughs> for no other reason than spite of knowing me and knowing that oh, I care about you. So obviously a sudden thing has her temper to be better. What's that? What's that? Well, I mean, that substance is known for giving you a dry mouth. And I'll tell you what, I do have quite a dry mouth right now, and it is making some pretty nice noises. My big, long, foxy tongue. Slapping against the roof of my muzzle. <laughs> just kind of floating about in my mouth. Just uh, muscle constrictions or. Oh well, that's what it would be for you. But for me, it's just spiritual movement. <laughs> that's the of time with me that we get to 
guess I've always meant to have a diffusing aura to make anyone feel comfy around me. And boy, I love it. It makes my life and my dealings so much easier. <laughs> Could you imagine if I came off as harsh and evil? <laughs> to make a deal with someone whose attitude more rings true of someone who would rather inject a knife into your neck than sit down and have a proper talking with you, right? <laughs> but you get a lot more than a proper talking. You get a proper licking. <laughs> Started. <laughs> 
this uh, her messy work, you know, I don't like her, nor do I agree with what she does. silly. 
honesty, that's, that's fine. It's fine to love each other and be okay with how each other smell, even if it does get worse with time. I mean, if, if we ever worked out together, we should work out together, because then we will smell bad together, because of the sweat and such, even though that would never make me sweat, and no, I can't really sweat. I'm not sure it would make me actually smell any worse, but it would make you smell, and that's fine. Being smelly is, to an extent, cute, as long as it's not bad smelling. Because... <laughs> you smell funny. You smell cute. And that's fine. You smell like... You smell like your deodorant can broke, didn't it? Because I'm getting the faintest whiffs of deodorant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you caught that. Oh, I saw it, yeah. It's sitting on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, it's sitting in the shelf in the uh, bathroom. And I saw, I tried some of it. And it barely sprayed, like, even though I shook it up a bunch. It's like jammed or something, and that's so annoying. It smells very pretty. Because I was like, I was like, why do you smell a bit pretty? But the rest of you smells like human stink. Stinky. You smell stinky. In a good way, you smell human stinky. Not like fart stinky. Fart stinky is gross, you are. You stink. <laughs> and then it smells like uh, it, it smells a bit still oily, stinky here too, from when I breathed in your face. But that is okay, because at least it isn't skunk stinky. Skunk stinky is the worst. Then butt stinky. But those are awful and bad. Yeah. <laughs> smell butt stinky ever or skunk stinky but they're gross both are gross and bad and yicky <laughs> I mean at least you'll never be fire and stinky she constantly smells bad I mean it's not like it's her fault she's a dragon who was born on Venus so she comes from an atmosphere that's pretty much pure sulfur gases and you're gonna smell like rotten eggs and butt all the time. I bet. She smelled like rotten eggs and butt the last time she was around me. But then again, she was also wearing that sweaty suit of hers, the set of armor. I don't know how she stands being in that armored suit of hers with those titanium plates on it. I'm not sure if she is just insanely strong. Never want to touch that woman's fur, but she is strong and scary a bit. She's very scary, and I really don't want to see her ever again. But I'm sure I will, because we're both near immortal. Though she will probably pass about twenty thousand years before we do. So there's always that to be fine with, because she won't be there for a good chunk of either of our lives, and that'll be fine. Though, I'm sure by then, I don't know, she'll be enough of a distant memory or a friend or something. People can change in thousands of years. Venusians can, humans can, foxes can, Kitsunis can, everyone can. If they have a long enough lifespan, you kind of get bored of one lifestyle and go to the next. I haven't done that at all yet. I've always been this borderline overly fluffy humble bookable kitsune you see in front of you who steals souls just because it's a food source and not because I enjoy it. I wish I didn't have to and I wish I could just be fine without souls but I can't now at least because I've only gone a couple few thousand years and stopped still need to split that with you, and I feel like I may do that uh, when a certain number in our life reaches 2,500 pieces, whether that be 2,500 days, 2,500 kisses, 2,500 pounds of uh, love. 
anniversary of me where I convinced you I was a human and then we talked and stuff and I thought you were super nice and you had a girlfriend uh, you were worried about and stuff and then I it wasn't a girlfriend no 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 just a friend like sleeping across here. 